Alright everyone, so for this activity you're going to get a chance to see what it must have been like to be blind when Saul was blinded by the light of Jesus and what that experience was like. So you're going to get to experience that. So you're going to need to find some kind of a blindfold. You need some sort of a blindfold and you need to be blindfolded. So you got to put it on so you can't see what you're doing. And then your parent or an older brother or sister is going to help you. So they're going to give you a box of crackers. And you're going to have to try to find them with, with your blindfold on. And some peanut butter and a knife. And you're going to have to try to put some peanut butter on your cracker with your blindfold on. Now maybe you're thinking, I'm allergic to peanut butter, Miss Jen. Well, that's okay. Don't use it if you're allergic to it. You could use bread instead and put some jelly on bread. Or um, if you happen to have marshmallow fluff, you could use marshmallow fluff. Or you could use butter on bread. There's all kinds of things you could do. So you can just, you know, whatever you're able to eat, you can use. All right. So then you got to get some peanut butter, get it on your cracker. But the whole time you're blindfolded. I don't know. Am I doing a good job? I can't even tell. All right. So you do that. That's one activity. You do that with your blindfold on. And then take turns. Take your blindfold off and give uh, someone else a turn. All right. Let me try to, can, maybe my helper. This is Mr. Dan, by the way. You know him from check-in, probably, but okay, he's going to help me because I can't see. All right, so then here's another thing you can do while you have your blindfold. You need a piece of paper and a pencil. And then, you got to find it, and then you have to try to write your name with a, with a blindfold on and see how you do. Then you can take your blindfold off and see how you do. It doesn't even look like your name. And i got to put my glasses on because I can't see a thing. All right, so try that. And then you could try to draw a house or draw a picture with your blindfold on and see how that goes. And then try to think of other things. You can try to think of other things you could do with your blindfold on. Maybe there's other activities you could do. Um, just experiment and have some fun pretending to be blind. And then think about, too, when you're doing it, think about what that must have been like for Saul to be blind for those three days and how much time he must have spent praying and talking to Jesus during that time. And then how Saul was completely changed because he had that experience with God. And that... God changes us when we have an experience with Him because He loves us. All right, so have a great week, guys.